just persistent. It will not go away. And no matter how much you use bleach products, no matter how much you clean, no matter how much caulking you do, you're always going to have mold and mildew. And I'll explain why. As I've explained already, the lip goes up like this. Once we take that away, you'll see. At the very top of the lip is where people should set their wallboard. The tile should overlap that so that there is a literally a gap with that little lip going down there. There's nothing behind it. What builders do, and a lot of DIYers and, and also some other supposed experienced tilers that I watch on YouTube, they will forget that altogether. They will set their wallboard, no matter what it is, it's going to mold and mildew. I don't care what the material for your wallboard is, it will mold and mildew once water gets into it. So they set it literally down onto the edge of the tub and then they tile right on top of that. So instead of having a gap here, a void, um, they're literally allowing water when it gets up under the tile, up under there to the wallboard. Um, the wallboard soaks it up and it can't dry it out. And every time you take a shower or bath and that gets wet, you're just perpetuating that cycle of water getting in there and it can't get out as fast as it gets in. And that's the reason why you have mold and mildew around tubs. I have an excellent view of the wallboard. The wallboard I was trying to show you when I explained before about setting wallboard inside and on top of the edge instead of the top of the lip. And this is a very, very good example of what I'm talking about. You see how even though this is green board, you see how rotted it is at the bottom. It's just absorbed water over the years over and over and over. Uh, and it begets mold and mildew. So as I refer to it, this is the edge of the tub. Wallboards should not set on the edge of the tub the way it's doing right here. The wallboard needs to set on the lip of the tub and then your tile overlaps that. Mm. If I find a piece of tile. So when the wallboard sits on there and the tile overlaps that, the wallboard's going to bump you out about eh, a quarter inch or so. Well, that and the thin set's going to bump you out and then this tile will set rest right on top of there with your wallboard sitting right back there where it has absolutely no contact with the surface where you're going to see water. So that's the proper way to do it. Otherwise, you're chasing this mold and mildew forever. It'll never go away. It'll always stay wet. It'll rot. It will disintegrate. These are 6x6 six six tile. Normally I deal with 4x4 four four builder's grade tile. The water can get so pervasive under there and soak up so far. I've taken out 18, 20 inches out just by pushing my hand through it. The wallboard was so soaked with water. Um, so even if they had used Durrock or Hardyback or anything else, I couldn't put my hand through it, but you still have some nasty mold and mildew and probably can smell it too, um, but you're, you're definitely going to have some type of issue at the base. This is how the wallboard has to be set. It sets on the lip, not the edge of the tub, on the lip. So if you can see clearly, it's setting literally right on the lip of the tub. In fact, I think I have just a small gap because I don't want any type of rubbing happening if the tub and the movement of the tub and, and you know the wallboard itself. So that's the way that it's supposed to be set. And then the tile is going to overlap that. As I've already mentioned earlier, there'll be a small gap at the bottom that'll get caught. And this overlap ensures that no water is going to jump up to your wallboard and cause issues in the future. So that is, um, that's the proper way. And again, as I reiterated before, don't let anybody tell you any different. Don't ever put your wallboard on the edge of the tub. Put it on the lip. In fact, raise it up about an eighth of an inch like I did and you'll be good to go. So I set setting tile, stop setting tile for just a minute to show you the final result of what I'm talking about. See that gap? That gap is intentional. There's no way that water could wick up the board because the board never touches the edge of the tub. It goes on the lip, going all the way across. So, um, with that gap there, you don't want to fill that in with thin set either. You see, I stopped shy of putting thin set there. So the tile actually sets on the tub with a little bit of shim there because eventually there'll be a bead of caulking along there. 
um, you, make, you still want to do that for expansion purposes. Um, but that's the way that tile should be set on top of a tub. If you see any other video of anybody else doing this wallboard or any wallboard on the edge of the tub and then setting their tile, that's wrong, wrong, wrong. Just let them know that this is the correct way because you don't want mold and mildew growing again. Mold and mildew will never grow off a of tile, only wallboard. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, then subscribe. Hit that button and subscribe and hit the bell. The bell will let you know right away when I post a new video. I make nothing off of YouTube, so please be a Patreon member. I'm gonna post a link down below to my Patreon account and you can donate a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars a month. Just pledge that, that on a monthly basis that will help me produce more videos and, and content so that you can watch and learn from my channel. And by the way, if you're going to call me, please, please, up there at the top of my channel where you see that picture up there on the right hand corner there's a P which is for PayPal. Hit that PayPal link and donate at least $50 if you're gonna call. If you're gonna call for advice donate to my PayPal please. Donate first and then feel free to call me or email me uh, for advice otherwise business calls only please.